Hello everyone, welcome back to the Antopia. Autumn is in full swing around here, and the fish hook ants are on their final nuptial flight. I was still able to spot many new queens. Many of them were still busy searching for the host ant colony. If you are curious about catching them, you can look at my previous video telling about how to catch the fish hook ants queens. Remember this black sugar ant's nest from the previous video? I revisited this nest to find the extra fish hook ant queen. And look, it's a success. During this time, many queens are at the entrance of the host ant's nest, waiting for the spring once again. This year, I was able to catch many of the Polyrachis queens, so I decided to make a super colony. Setting up this species of queen ants safely is a little bit complicated. First, have your queen one-on-one -on -one encounter with the house ant. In my case, I put a small worker of the carpenter ants as my host ants. The host ant will attack the queen like crazy right away. And don't panic because it is totally normal. In an hour, they will get close and the queen will start grooming the host ant. This is the process of copying the host ant's cuticular hydrocarbon profiles. Because ants distinguish friends or foes from this. And they are going to trip Alexis in a day. It's really amazing when you see this process for the first time. Next day, you add another host ant worker. Add one more again the day after tomorrow. I proceeded this process from three different containers to make this whole process a little faster. And finally, combine them into the original nest. And now, let me introduce my ultimate Super Polyrachis Colony. More than 30 queen ants live with the hundreds of house ants. Let's look at the ants closer. There are always large numbers of ants around the water fountain. Carpenter ants do not show any aggression even when they are with a completely different species of ants. And the queens walk peacefully in the nest and sometimes groom the carpenter ants. In this colony, I removed all the super majors of the host ants. Because super majors are the major threat to the Polyrachis queens. Super majors can literally slice cut down the queen ants at once. And I do not know exactly why, but the queen ants like to stay together and form what I call ant ball. From behind, the ant looks like black shiny jewels. 
I guess their body is covered with a scent that attracts the house ants, but also attracts each other. For now, the future of this nest looks very bright. Because there's a lot of house ants and a lot of carpenter ants larvae. Check this out. There are many larvae on their second larval stage preparing for the hibernation. Next year, larvae will grow into host ant workers and raise the fish hook ants instead of their own. I fed them the last sugar source because the hibernation period was approaching. Unlike other parasitic ants, fish hook ant queens find and eat their own food. Let's enjoy watching ants consuming sugar water. This is all for today. How was it? If you guys liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I will continue to update the video about this super polyrachis nest. See you in the next video. Bye!